Hi, Jim from Off Grid Supply. I'm standing here with the Portage Main Ultimizer Series boiler. Portage Main's been in business since 1973. Uh, the Ultimizer is a conventional design boiler. It's not an EPA certified boiler. However, it can be used in, in many regions within Canada still. And in areas that have regulations, typically it's for farming or, or high BTU requirements. This is available in five different sizes. I'm going to do a walk through the boiler and give you some of the explain the features and the op operating functionality of the boiler. So, Portage Main, typical of their design, they have an outer door and the inner door. The outer door prevents the cold air from being right against the, the inner doors, which is an efficiency um, situation, higher efficiency when it has the outer door. It also helps prevent the doors from premature failure with corrosion or warping that can happen with very many other manufacturers and their single, single door boilers. Additionally, the Ultimizer has a heavy-duty refractory brick lining in the fire pot. They, this is their own refractory brick. It has a stainless steel mesh embedded in it. It's a thick brick. The mesh helps hold it together to resist any, any cracking or falling apart. Uh, what the refractory brick does is it's a campfire theory. If you, if you have a good hot coal bed in a campfire, you can basically add anything to it for wood, you know, poor quality, good quality, etc., and it ignites it right away. Same thing is happening here. It establishes a good hot coal bed in the Ultimizer. The second part of that is, is air supply. So the Ultimizer adds air to the fire from underneath, but it also has a giant port just below the door here, blowing air directly on top of the fire. So lots of air, hot coal bed, the boiler gets up to temperature really quick. That's been a problem again with all the, all the other boilers that don't have a refractory brick as they do the struggling trying to get going. Uh, again, with Going from, from this chamber, the exhaust enters up into the heat exchanger chamber here. This is completely submerged in the water heating, so all four sides of this are sitting in the water that you're heating, using for your buildings and that. This has got a partition in the middle of it, so the exhaust enters in the left-hand rear chamber here. It forces it because of the partition has to come to the door, do a 180 degree turn, go back to the back of the chimney to go up the, the back of the boiler to go up the chimney. Um, common thing you know better absorption of heat through this chamber a common thing we hear about other and have seen with other design boilers that don't have a heat exchanger like this is the amount of heat loss we've had customers we've seen their boilers literally flames and, and lots of sparks coming out of the chimney that's just total heat loss we don't experience that with the portage and main boiler so from here um, the ash goes down into the lower chamber it works its way down through the, the slots and the refractory brick into the lower chamber this is a clean out chamber comes with a shovel. That's not actually a pan. We don't leave it in there because this boiler runs so hot. It'll actually destroy the pan over a period of time. Simple things. You know, again, Portage remains known, um, well known for keeping things as simple as they can, user friendly, maintenance friendly, etc. Easy to clean this chamber. Additionally, this is where you fill the boiler with water. Um, it's got an easy to identify float system to tell what your water level's at. A lot of manufacturers use a tube, a glass tube or a plastic tube. It gets plugged up or clogged up, discolored over time, and you no longer know the water level in your boiler. Not the case with the Portage Main. The other thing the Portage Main does, which is different from all the other manufacturers, is this is a sectional design boiler. And what that means is the water jacket is a separate component from the rest of the boiler. So in the event that the water jacket ever failed, started to leak, and it could not be repaired, you can physically unbolt this water jacket and replace it. About a three hour job. It's not the end of the world and the boiler does not have to leave the premises to do that. So why, you know, why replace a complete boiler when it fails? Why have to disconnect the boiler and ship it across the country with a huge cost to you to do that to get it repaired? On site repair, again, Portage Main, thinking about the user at the end of the day. So let's take a walk around the back of the boiler. I'll show you some of the connections and features about the boiler from the back side. See, uh, the boiler is uh, set up to the BL, this is the model BL2840, okay, so it's designed to heat typically up to 4,000 square feet. Some areas it'll actually heat 5,000 square feet, just depends on the, the home installation quality and your climate, and we can, we can calculate that for you. So this is designed to heat two structures, it has four ports on it, you can connect it to two buildings, two incoming, two outgoing uh, ports. Again, simplicity. They're using Robert, Robert uh, Shaw type controls, the pen controls, high quality, uh, readily available type, not, not proprietary type of controls in their boilers. 
It's a, an Aquasat from Rubshaw, the pen product that is running the boiler. It has a safety thermostat, so if this uh, control here should ever fail, it's got a backup thermostat to basically prevent the boiler from taking off or burning up on you. Third and you know, electrical component is the blower fan. This is blow the air supply that is being blown through this chamber down and underneath the fire and also through a chamber up above the fire that I explained earlier. Simple, easy access. There's a knockout port in the bottom here to bring your pipes up so your pipes are coming up inside the boiler. This is a clean out access so when you're cleaning out the, uh, the heat exchanger you can push the ash right out this, this uh, port right here as well as you can also push it down the other side of that partition heat exchanger into the fire. Portage Main, you know, heavy duty, overbuilt product, uh, very reliable, fantastic reputation. If you'd like more information on this product or anything else, don't hesitate to give us a call or send us an email, off-gridsupply.com. Thanks for your time.